Great Taste is brought to you by Cantor's Meats, the home of quality meats. Welcome back to Great Taste of Manitoba, where tonight it's Manitoba Pulse and Soybean Growers. We have Chef Gordon Bailey with us. Thank you, you for joining us. And we're getting right into our Manitoba lamb and black bean meatballs with minted Greek yogurt. Yogurt, hey. yay, that's the one. And this is sort of a local nutrition powerhouse because we have, uh, well, first of all, Manitoba sheep producers, right? We have our lamb. Yep. Manitoba oat growers. We have countryside right. farms, Vita eggs. And uh, uh, we've also got our pulses here. And so you kind of had an interesting uh, thought. If, if you're new to lamb, and you also want to try and get your pulses in at the same time because we're doing half cup habit tonight. Correct. This is kind of a great way to do it because it's a form that's familiar to a lot of people. Yeah, Even totally. Even the I mean, tastes aren't necessarily. No, exactly. Yeah. And, and everybody knows a meatball and can understand that. And uh, I think everybody loves them, right? Sure. So uh, great way to introduce lamb into uh, your diet. And once again, with that half cup habit, three times a week, great way to get your pulses in there as well. And lamb is like it, like uh, such a, a growing industry in Manitoba, and very like in terms of nutritional benefits. We talk a second about. That. Oh yeah, protein, uh, vitamin B12, all sorts of goodness, nutrients uh, that you can get from the lamb. Um, also, uh, find that uh, the local lamb is less fatty than, say, some of the imported lamb. Oh, okay. Which is really another great health benefit and Don't. still very flavorful. All right, so yeah. let's get building. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our ground lamb here. We're going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard. We're going to add a touch of ketchup. And all these recipes are on the website. Yeah, so you can absolutely. get the exact amounts. The, exactly. Okay, we're going to add our one of the stars of the show. Okay, there's the lamb that's a star, and then we got our pulses. Pulse, yeah. So I've taken my black beans, and what I did was I cooked them, and then I just uh, pulsed them in the food processor just to kind of break them up a little bit. Sure. So that they get more evenly incorporated. Yeah, but again, you could probably use the canned, I know, chef. 100%, right? no, for Fresh sure. Is always best, if you're right? in a little bit of a time crunch, uh, the canned ones still have all the great nutritional benefits. So you're okay to use those. We're going to add the oats. Oats. I, I will say, uh, sometimes, if I'm working with, like, we'll say, pulses, black beans, because I have made, like, sort of, quote, unquote, hamburgers with black beans, sometimes I find the sticking together part is a little bit, not an issue, but I don't know if there's sort of, like, a trick that you have for that. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. It's the egg, the oats. Like, well, yeah, definitely. In this, in this case, you're going to get the binding happening from the egg and from the oats. Okay. Which is uh, kind of a double... Uh, Double duty there. And we're gonna attention. mix this together. Okay. And then of course, like I talked in the last segment that I think is very important for you know all cooks to remember and new cooks to understand. Spice as you go. Seasoning. Seasoning, Seasoning and spices. Seasoning. So in this case, the salt and the pepper. Mm -hmm. And then the spices that I'm using in this one uh, is just paprika and a little bit of cayenne. Okay. okay so the there's cayenne really gives nothing, a little bit of a kick. Like in this recipe, the, the two, or I guess two things that maybe people wouldn't normally use maybe a whole lot would be the pulses and the lamb. But I mean, everything else that you've used here, uh, with peak of the market onion, of course, it's like, you know, pretty straightforward no, ingredients, No, very right? common, very yeah. tasty, flavorful uh, ingredients. Okay. Okay, and then of course, what I want to do is add my fresh herbs. In this case, I have some oregano, rosemary, and thyme. Okay. Okay, because with lamb being a fairly nice, strong flavor, um, it, it's a very good herb to match with that. Rosemary sort of really stands up to that flavor. Okay. Complements it quite well. Okay. Okay, so we're going to mix in our herbs as the final component, and then, what we're going to do is we're going to like portion these mm -hmm. onto our roasting pan. Um, so when you're making these, like, you, in terms of size, do they cook up, do they cook down quite a bit, or you know what? Stay because you have size? like the oats in there and the black beans, they don't have a lot of shrinkage. Okay. Okay, Lean. so they stay nice okay. and almost to the exact same size that you you portion them. So what we're going to do is I like to have, I mean, you can make them any size you want. Sure. Okay. I usually recommend somewhere between 50 and 75 grams a piece. Um, but in this case, I'm going to go for the full 75. Okay, that's about a, that's about 75 grams. Because you say 15 grams. to 75 grams, I'm like, mm. no, exactly. So that's yeah, about what that's that about is. 75 okay. grams, and it gives you that okay. really nice sort of like larger rustic meatball. Sure. But if you want to make them smaller, that's you have fair. like a little dinner party that you're doing where you want to have uh, multiple and stuff. courses. You can be dainty. <laughs> so, question: uh, the other thing, uh, you don't want to overmix this either, right? I think that's something that I had heard along the way here. No, that's key with making any sort of like uh, meatball and or hamburger. 
you don't want to over mix it. You don't want to sort of like tighten up the proteins. Oh. Um, it sort of gives it a little bit more of a tougher texture. You want to oh. keep it nice and loose and supple. I didn't even know that was a thing. So that's a thing. Don't over mix. You'll see a lot of like uh, Nuna's like when they're making their meatballs. It's very ginger. Not a lot of like you know folding and mixing not and over incorporating. Not super handling them, so to speak. No, exactly. And okay. so when I do them this size right here. You want to put them in the oven at about 350, 375. And how long do we go? Honestly, you're going to go for 25 minutes. 25 minutes. That's it, hey? That's it. Okay. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a pretty quick one as well. Okay. Um, what you can do though, all ovens are a little bit different. They all have a little bit of a, you know, temperature fluctuation. Mm -hmm. um, so what you can do is best thing to do, meat thermometer. Yeah. Okay. So what okay. are you looking for temperature wise? Honestly, um, I would take these to like 160. I wouldn't go beyond that. Okay. Uh, I think is the the proper food safe and also you're not going to be having them too dry. Okay. Okay. So 75 grams, about 25 minutes, 170 degrees. We actually have the finished product uh, here, and and so just real quick, this is also this lovely, this, um, the minted um, yogurt. Yeah, the minted correct? Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Nice yeah. way to give a little bit of uh, healthy fat to it. Um, one of the things you might want to do with uh, before roasting your meatballs, and I have this one smaller right here, is you can just cook up a little piece in a frying pan. Okay. Okay, and give it a taste for your seasonings. Okay. Just so you know going into it, what they're going to taste you like at the end. Right, and you add more if you need. Okay, so there we go. That is our lovely Manitoba lamb and black bean meatballs with minted Greek yogurt. I did sort of a half job. No, I'm kind of digging that. It. Looks good. And I'm going to actually uh, try these in a sec. Can't wait to tuck into this. When we come back, though, lentil and tomato stew. This is one of Chef's favorites. Uh, we hope you'll stick around tonight on Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba. Brought to you in part by Manitoba Liquor Mart. Enjoy responsibly.